Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Today we're going to do a second example of finding a derivative using implicit differentiation. Let me write down the implicitly defined function or the implicit equation. We have y times sine of x squared equals x times sine of y squared. Okay, so here y is defined implicitly in terms of x, meaning we don't have something of the form y equals a formula just involving x. Uh, something more complicated is going on. We have the y squared term here inside of sine, and then the y term on this side of the equation. So to find the derivative, we'll find dy dx, okay, or y prime is sometimes I'll write it. We need to use implicit differentiation. Okay, the first step is to differentiate both sides of the equation. If you differentiate an equation, you get an equation back. Okay, take the derivative of the left-hand side first. We need to use the product rule and then the chain rule when we go to differentiate this second factor. Okay, what we have is the derivative of the first factor, which is y. Now, y is some unknown function of x, so we have to take its derivative. So we get y prime times sine of x squared plus the first factor, y, times the derivative of sine of x squared, which is cosine of x squared, because cosine is the derivative of sine, times what's inside the brackets for sine, the derivative of that rather. So it's the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Okay, equals um, the derivative of the right hand side. Again, we're going to use the product rule and then the chain rule when we go to differentiate sine of y squared. Derivative of x is 1. 1 times sine of y squared plus x times the derivative of sine of y squared. Again, the derivative of sine is cos, so we get cos of y squared times the derivative of what's in the bracket of sine up here. So it's sine of 2y, and don't forget to multiply by y prime because y is also a function of x. Okay, so it's using the chain rule twice here. All right, next we need to solve for y prime. I'm going to erase what's on top. and rearrange this equation to get all terms involving y prime, so this term here and this term here, on one side of the equation. So this term and this term involve y prime. So we'll move them all, say, to the left-hand side. We get y prime times sine of x squared minus, okay, here we have 2xy times cos of y squared times y prime. Okay. Then everything else we're going to put on the other side of the equation. That's this term and this one. Um, so these are on the right hand side. We get sine of y squared and then minus this term here. Again we have this factor 2xy. Okay, and this is this equation rearranged. I'm going to erase what's on bottom here. Okay, next we factor out the y prime up here to eventually isolate it. Giving us that on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we have the same as what we had before. And then we divide both sides of the equation by this factor here because we want to isolate this term, y prime. Okay. And finally, we get y prime equals this side divided by that. Sine of y squared minus 2xy cos of x squared 
divided by this side of the equation sine of x squared minus 2xy cos of y squared. Okay, And that is our answer. dy dx, other, otherwise written as y prime, is given here.